haven't been at school for a long time. <laughs> boy, not a boy, he's a man. He's a man. <laughs> It's Jay, and I'm actually real right now. This is not a pre-filmed video. Like, what? It's the first one in since September. It's mind-blowing. I know. I am here with my Christmas TBR because I am off of school until January 11th. So that's like two weeks, three weeks, whatever. I don't do time. Whatever. It's a long time where I can actually read. So I'm so excited. I don't think anybody understands how excited I am that I actually get to read. So I have a total of six books that I'm hoping I can get through. But I also want to do a whole bunch of other stuff because I have time now. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that I'm hoping to read on my Christmas break is The Merciless by Danielle Vega. It's about four girls who decide that this girl in their school, Brooklyn, needs to be exercised. And I am so excited to read it because I've heard so many good things about it and I just think it's going to be super good and I mean exorcisms are cool so super excited to read it and I mean like it's YA horror but how scary can it be like it's it's pink so. The next book I'm hoping to finish is Ella's Love by Jasmine Lee. This book is about a man named Marcus who meets a woman named Ella three times by chance and the third time they decide that they are going to try to start a relationship together, except Marcus has to decide how much he is willing to give up to be with Ella, and Ella must decide if she is willing to give her heart to Marcus. Typical lovey-dovey story. Super short, so figured I can probably get through it pretty quickly, so yeah, that is on my list as well. The next book is Roseblood by Kevin Scott Olson. It is extremely short, it's only 26 pages, it is about a Russian pianist who's being targeted by the Russians and it's basically this guy Michael Quinn is assigned to protect her so you know it's 26 pages how hard can it be to finish that's what I'm saying the next two books are both by the author CK Connors and it is table 9 and adventures in retail they are also extremely short so I figured might as well get these done because he contacted me and asked me to read them and it was a while ago so I'm so sorry CK I'm getting to them now, and I'll put my review up once I'm done. And then the final two books are by the author PJ Ferguson. I absolutely love PJ. He is one of the sweetest authors I have ever been in contact with. He just sent me his second book, and I'm planning on reading it, and he also sent me his first book about a year ago, which I never got to. I'm so sorry, but I'm getting to them now, so... Yay. His first book is Daddy, and it is about a man named Joe Williams who I believe he was arrested, but he's not guilty. And it's his story about seeing if the 12 jury members are going to pick if he's guilty or not. It doesn't say what he did, so kind of excited to get into it to figure out what it is exactly that he did or didn't do, technically. I don't know. We'll see. And then the final book that I'm hoping to read is also by PJ, and it is the first. He just sent me this book. I opened it this morning, actually. And it is a vampire story, but he says that it should be a warning to everyone that if you are very religious, it is very controversial, so maybe go into it with an open mind. But I'm very excited to read it because I'm not religious at all, so I'm not going to be offended in any way. So, it's a hefty book, so hopefully I can get through it. Daddy is also a very hefty book, which is why I have the shorter books. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I will let you know what I think of all the books. Goodbye! And obviously it's by PJ Ferguson. I don't know why I'm saying that. Stop messaging me. Adam, you're annoying.